What's up YouTube, B-Rad here, hope you're having a great day. So it's now far, far, far into the future. It took me a long time actually finding the footage which I took uh, at the UK, the FBA and the competition you're about to see, WMBF. And, um, I finally found it basically and I thought it's, uh, it's time to let it out and let people, sh let, let people see the kind of raw motion I had to go through with that one. If you haven't seen that video already, please do so because this won't make any sense. To put it in perspective, Prior to that competition, most of you already know that I went through extensive surgery to repair my umbilical hernia, which to say the least was quite traumatising and off camera I had to kind of repair my mindset a lot because I had this reoccurring nightmare where I was walking really slowly, like I had some sort of problem, like some sort of disability or something which was stopped me from getting where I wanted to be and you had all these people rushing past me, rushing past me and they're going, come on! I'm like, I literally can't. And when I was walking, and I think you can see the footage in some of the videos I've done in the past, I was walking really slowly, and it was one of those recurring nightmares which actually came true almost. I couldn't actually move. And even when I kind of came out of that and I was able to move properly a little bit, I still had uh, a lack of mobility due to uh, the constraints I was still in. So main aspects were bench press. I love doing bench press, I love pushing on bench press, dumbbells, barbells, whatever it is, anything chest related, I love it. But that pressure it was put on my, my stomach was very difficult to push it to 100%. And all the way through my prep, I had that sort of PTSD aspect of doing squats, deadlifts, whatever it may be, of like, am I going to tear it again? So with that in the back of mind, I, I felt like I held, held a lot of pressure on myself on show day, knowing what adversity I had to overcome. But... To say the least, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't deflated that day. You can quite see the raw emotions that I was very, very annoyed. And like I say, I held a lot of pressure on myself, which was probably needless uh, looking back on it. Because, as I said, it doesn't define me. The, the reward I got, or the, the medal, the piece of metal I got at the end, does not define me. And I then pulled myself out of it, had something to eat, and came back to the camera and I said, Look, I've got to look towards the WMBF now, and uh, if I win that one, I, it's a pro qualifier, so I, I get to go to Las Vegas if I if I place in it. Little did I know. <laughs> Hold on. Little did I know. <laughs> Love this medal. It's pretty big. It's like one of those massive sort of chocolate like coins you get. But it's probably the coolest medal I've got. And yeah, little did I know that this is all going to be around the corner. So uh, I'm going to show you a bit of footage now of that on show day and see what you think really.
through the woods and yeah it's going to explain to you where my head was at really with the WMBF compared to the UK the FDA what changes were what differences were and where I'm at now because this is 2022 now and uh, we've got big things coming up big projects and big things which is going to be really fun and entertaining to actually execute but also preparation something that execution so we're going to execute it big time yeah I had fun that day I think a lot of my mates, they, they came by and uh, they had support and everything. So it was really fun. And because it was something a bit different, I've never done a pre-judging sort of scenario before. In terms of just kind of having a bit more a scientific approach towards eating things in a certain parameter. And if you saw anything from my UK DFBA, you know I take it very seriously in terms of there's not much you can really do on show day to really enhance you. There's certain like little manipulations of sorts. But uh, yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it a lot. So. And of course, by the end, as you saw on the, my Instagram, I did place and get invited to the World Championships in Las Vegas. <sighs> oh, the unfortunate uh, situation was that I couldn't go because I wasn't double jabbed. So that was the annoying part. There was the option of going through Mexico, or there was going through Canada or whatnot, but it just wasn't a seal tight sort of way of getting out there. There would be a situation where you could just literally like get to them and then they go, uh, no, you're not vaccinated, goodbye. So I don't want to waste like two or three grand or so and uh, be turned away. So it wasn't a good option, but I tried my best to get out there. And now I am almost all the vax. I've got my next vaccination on Thursday. That means that if I do get invited to the one in Los Angeles now, which it will be, so it'll be in Los Angeles, then I can go to that one and have no problem really. But I've got to try and place again towards getting there. And now it's kind of on the roadmap a bit more. So a lot of people are going to compete in there. And yeah, so it's going to be harder, but I've got to pull out the bag. And there's no barriers this time. There's no barriers of me having surgery. There's no problems of where, you know, I've been restricted with certain things there's free range of what I can possibly do now so I'm, I'm quite happy with what cards I've got what I'm dealing with and how well I can perform on that day uh, getting up there basically but uh, yeah last year was difficult with certain restrictions not gonna lie and yeah they get me down a little bit and it was a period of time where it was, I just thought it was the first you know first real opportunity pro qualifier in Las Vegas being offered that opportunity of a lifetime was just so heartbreaking in terms of I couldn't do it. It was an arm's reach, being invited. You can go, you've done all the hard work, you can go, but you can't. <laughs> I even pleaded to Richard Branson or they went to the President of the United States in the end, trying to get through his email address, went through every single possible uh, solution. Just no, there's nothing. And that was, like I say, it was heartbreaking. It was really awful to, be uh, tempted with that sort of thing or giving you that sort of here you go and dangling that carrot in front of your face and still not having the opportunity to really go having the opportunity but not having the opportunity if that makes sense it's like here you go but not really <laughs> but yeah like I say this year is gonna be a lot more it's gonna be hard it's gonna be tough I'm not gonna lie but um, hopefully if I do do well then yeah I should be offered that opportunity again and now like I say, nearly double vaccinated. First vaccination out of the way. God, my arm bloody hurt off that one. Not much for whimper or anything when it comes to needles, but I mean, I'm not gonna really go into my sort of reservations of the whole aspect of why I didn't get in the first place, but if it enables me to travel, then yeah, I'm gonna get it. But if you ask me, would you have got it? If Probably not, but I'm not like an anti vax sort of individual or something like that, but I just think that there's so many different situations of where you could have got around it like say for instance for me instead of taking a paracetamol you've got a headache drink water it really just annoys me that it's kind of like almost a mandatory sort of thing with Djokovic like I was really rooting for him to actually be able to go there and uh, kind of compete 
or like do his tennis although he's not being double vaccinated i was really hoping he would but the sort of controversy over that was just, it's just crazy that sports people are really healthy and they can't compete in their sport because they have their reservations about something they have their sort of um values towards things but yeah is what it is and I couldn't compete, he couldn't compete, and that's the, that's where we're living right now. <sighs> Would have been good though, wouldn't it? This year is a different story. This year, we're going to smash it. This year, we're going to get the place we want, and we're going to get out there. We're going to get out of Los Angeles this time to Las Vegas. So, I think it's uh, Disney around there. Disney and Universal. I'd like to uh, travel and go there. That'd be great. So that's what I'm looking towards now. That's what I'm smashing. And 2022 is going to be my year. Also, this is my new hairstyle. What do you think? I kind of look like Dash off uh, The Incredibles. When it gets more wavy throughout the day, it kind of does look more like that. But at the moment, it's kind of straightish. It starts off straight in the morning, then it goes a bit more wavy. But I look like Dash off The Incredibles. What do you think? Like it? I quite like it. <sighs> it's a new sort of uh, image. And actually, I've actually woven it into my posing routine. So when I do it overhead, so what I'm thinking now is I don't want to give too much weight. Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. But when I do my overhead pose, I've always wanted to kind of like, almost like run my ha hands through my hair a little bit more and really kind of like enhance that sort of like stage presence a little bit. I think now I've got that sort of, it's more swept back. I can do that, which would be really cool. So watch out for that pose. <laughs> What I found in this Duchamp box, which uh, contains all the trunks I've uh, competed with so far. Number 49, The Wolf. So a good friend of mine uh, got me these, and uh, I'm quite glad I had those. These ones I haven't actually competed with, funny enough. These are the Alphalee ones. These are kind of like training sort of trunks, let's like call them. So during uh, my posing routine, I would use these ones very comfortable, I might use it in the future. And then, getting towards, these are really cool ones. Despite the actual competition being a bit of a letdown, these shorts are actually so cool. So, I don't know if you can see, but these are actual crystals, which are pretty cool. And they, as you can see, they kind of shine a little bit throughout. It is pretty cool, and these are a full metal. So yeah, I think these are pretty cool. I like them. Heart of England, UK DFBA 119. One more nine. <laughs> and then finally, the originals, the OGs. These are really lightweight, these ones are. They're not really stretchy, I don't think. Oh, they're a little bit stretchy. Yeah, these were the original ones. Still look pretty cool. Got a cool sort of physique thing here, I suspect. That's what it is. But yeah, I think my favourites are probably these blue ones here. But then the notorious ones is the wolf. That's why I have my wolf ones. They're, my, they're kind of my favourites, I suppose. It's kind of like a cross between the blue ones and the wolf ones because, like I say, it mimics my persona. Always hunt down my goals. And I often howl at the moon. You'll often see me howling at the moon as well, randomly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, those are the shorts. Those are the posing shorts. I uh, don't know if I'm going to get some new ones or potentially rewear those ones because I have got a variety of them now. But I haven't really technically worn the Alpha Elite ones here. So I might give it a go, but I am going to be competing a couple of times this year, so I'm looking towards... Mm, I don't want to give too much weight, to be fair, but yeah, where I'm going to be competing is a bit of a surprise. Here's the original. That's B-Rad board 1.0, that is. <laughs> it's crazy. It looks a bit small now. His chest is still on point, you know, it's always had a big chest. Onwards and upwards, so to that. And that's also a CD player, by the way, for people that uh, were born in the 2000s. That's been with me for a very long time. But yeah, onwards and upwards, and always driving for more. Oh, that's also me in NASCAR as well. There he is. That's a little B-Rad, that is. Before I even start bodybuilding. But uh, yeah, this year's going to be going to be good, guys. So, sorry if you were wondering, is it going to be a workout in this one? It's not, because, yeah, I'm not training today. I am training today, but I'm not videoing it today. So yeah, if you like this video, please like it. If you haven't already, please subscribe and press the notification button to help me out with the algorithms. I'm going to be one of those people that 
really ask you a favor in terms of if you if you share this if you like it if you subscribe help me out massively because what i want to do in the future is get a master's degree and that costs a lot of money i'd like to do it in australia but if i can't do it in australia then i'd have to do it here but yeah that costs a lot of money it costs about like 12 12 grand so if you help me out with YouTube, then I can do that and make even better kick-ass videos. So if you like this video, please like it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And to help the algorithms, please press the notification button so you never miss out on a future video. And yeah, like I say, it helps me out massively. But for now, be right out. See you guys.